people call us Crabcore, which is something that our fans made up. Which, or, I don't know, no, I think it was some dude who was trying to make fun of us. He put it up on a Wikipedia page and we were like, let's just roll with it. Like, why not? I mean, it's hilarious. Like, we were laughing and we were like, wow, let's just roll with it. I mean, it's funny. So we got, like, shirts and stuff that say Crabcore. And, I mean, it's kind of cool to think that you kind of invented a new genre, even though it has nothing to do with the music. We're at South by Southwest asking people about the premier band, Attack Attack. Attack Attack. Uh, well, I mean, Attack Attack was good. I didn't really get to see because we were kind of stuck. Because since the Red 7 is so tiny, and they had the main stage and the outdoor stage, we were trying to go to the outdoor one, but it was already so packed and they had us wait in line inside the indoor one, so I didn't get to see much. Did you hear them? Yeah, but they were pretty good. Attack, attack? I'm gonna say attack, attack was gnarly, that's it. Was hardly? It was gnarly. Man. Gnarly? Gnarly, yeah, that's it. You love, did you love that band? Do you like that band? I like them in a brotherly way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. It was pretty awesome. We it didn't was get pretty to see awesome. them, but we heard them outside. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get to see them, but it was all right. Yeah. You seen them before? Yeah. Favorite band? Yeah. Ever? Yeah. Ever? Yeah. Ever? Yeah. Jacob, brother. <laughs> yeah. Attack, attack. Give me your word. Um, badass, perfect. Some technical difficulties at the beginning, but they fixed that shit. They gave us an encore. It was just all badass. You, all you loving South by so far? Oh, uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, hell yeah. What's your favorite so far? Shit. I love all of it. All day. Do it, do it, yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about Attack Attack. Okay. Yeah. Attack Attack. What about it? What was this show like? The show was fun. Was it, it was, fun? It's definitely hot out there. There was definitely a bunch of kids going crazy, but uh, so this is our first time at South by Southwest, it's so it was a good time. It's a good first experience. Oh, yeah. What do you feel when you're on stage as Attack Attack? Uh, I feel like a bunch of adrenaline rushing, I guess. Uh, craziness. It's something you can't really explain, I guess. Did you know that people were that were lining up at 2 a.m. this morning to see you? Was it really? I heard 3 a.m., but... I had no idea about that, but now that I hear that, it's awesome. Can't believe they stayed out for that long and then waited around for another five-hour show, so <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Can I ask you about internet fame? Internet fame. What do you? What, what is that? I mean, I knew about you from the internet. Okay. Well, I mean, like, here's what the internet is. It's, uh, hey, here's your band. You can, uh, you can go promote your band to whoever you want to because it's the internet. Like, if you don't take advantage of that, you're a moron. Especially when you're starting off. Like, if you sit on the internet for fucking ten hours a day. Like, things are gonna happen. You're gonna meet people. Like, that's the way it works. I mean, it's it's free promotion as much as you want, whenever you want, to whoever you want, so why not, you know? <laughs> What's it like playing to a lot of kids? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. It's awesome seeing kids come out to our shows and having fun and just seeing a bunch of smiles out there. And it, I don't know, we enjoy it a lot, so. Can we talk about moshing? Moshing, sure, yeah. What right. about it? <laughs> I love it. It makes the, sh like the show so first that much more fun, I guess. So. How long have you been moshing? Since November of last year. Uh, I'm usually jumping around as like shoulder people. Shoulders. Shoulders. Push. What's your favorite pushing uh, body part? I don't know. I just go at it. Then they, well, and then there's also like hardcore dancing. It's totally different. Or just like you can do all different things. You kick and punch. And, but it's awesome because if somebody gets knocked down, everybody goes up and helps yeah. them. And they're like, yeah, come on. So it's just like a big family. One big like, fighting fan. I think Attack Attack is also the most crowd-oriented fan like, that we've ever seen. And they always are including everything. Like they had the chicken fight and the death wall and the wall of death and everything else. The chicken fight and the wall of death. Yeah, and they had all the stage, they encouraged stage diving. How much stretching goes into pre-show? No. <laughs> you just run up there and you feel like crap afterwards. Oh, yeah. That's what you do. Can, I, can I recommend stretching to you guys? I think that would really help. Honestly, I think yoga and rock and roll uh, kind of meant for each other. Yeah, it's true. It's relaxing. It definitely it's calms you down right before a set or after the set. 
which Either we've way. never done. <laughs> we haven't done it before, but we've done it before. We'll try it one day. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. But I, I think I think a tag attack could really mainstream yoga in a, in a big way. That'll be the yeah. new new crab core. Yeah. yeah we'll yoga, do, core. yoga core. Yoga core, guys. Do downward dog on stage. Yeah. <laughs> and it sounds real naughty. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a pose it's in yoga. Yeah. It's so. legit. It's totally. real. <laughs>